Hello, fourth graders. This video is for fourth graders in their math program using GoMath. This is a reteach recap of lesson 7.8. Lesson 7.8 um, is a heavy lesson that refers to teaching um, students to subtract mixed numbers with renaming when needing to rename. So on page 429, you'll see the very first problem starts with this word problem in regards to Ramon, Chandler, and Chase riding their bikes. So these people are out riding their bikes and at the end of the question, they ask you to find the difference between two and one fourth and one and three fourths. And they start this off by using a model and a number line. Using a number line for fractions is a super, super good idea. And so what they do here is they have a number line that is broken up into fourths, as you can see. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Instead of writing four fourths, we write a one because four fourths is the same as one whole thing. That is going to be very important information for you to remember here in just one second. Goes on down the number line to show how this would progress. And so it shows you on page 429 two different, two different models. What you can do is draw a model and on your model, place your model on a number line. This is one way that you can solve the subtraction of mixed numbers using a model instead of doing any, you know, wild math problems. So what we're going to do for Chandler, we're going to put a C here. And Chandler rode his bike two and one fourth of a mile. So we're going to color that in. So here we have one whole, there's one of the two. Here's two of the two. So now we have the two taken care of. Now we need one fourth. Our boxes, our model is broken into fourths. So when you color in one small box, you're not coloring in one, you're coloring in a fourth. This model turns your um, fractions into a tape model or a fraction tile or a bar model that we have been using in our class quite a bit. And so my students should be very, very familiar with lining these up in such a way that will um, show you which one's bigger. Because here it says, how much longer did Chandler ride her bike than Ramon did? So now we're gonna take Ramon. He rode his for one. So here's one, here's his one. And then, so we did all that, and then three fourths. So we're gonna go one, two, three fourths. As you can see, your model has shown you that you have two parts remaining. Now, it's not two whole things, it's two fourths. So the difference between one third, or two and one fourth, and one and three fourths is two fourths, okay? That is how you would subtract mixed numbers, <laughs> excuse me, by using a model. Now, as lesson 7.8 continues on to page number 430, it gives you another strategy, my personal favorite. But as we always say in my class, students get to decide what strategy they use. I do not get to decide, I just show them to you. So we have five and one eighth minus one, Oh, uh, not a one, excuse me, a three minus three and three eighths. Now, this is the important thing that you are going to remember. How many pieces of eight do I need to make a whole? Eight, that's correct. You need eight pieces of eight to make a whole. So I'm gonna take out of this five, I'm gonna take one of these out and I'm gonna turn it into a fraction like this, which is gonna leave me four whole things left. So now I have four and one, because this is one, which equals five, and then I'm gonna add that one eighth to it, which is going to give me four and nine eighths. I took this one out of the whole numbers, I've had multiple ones I could work with, and I turned it into a fraction that equaled one. Four, one, that's five, and one eighth. My number here, this, and this, and this are all the same thing. So I can successfully say that four and nine eighths 
minus 3 and 3 eighths. Now this is possible, right? Before, this was impossible because if I have a 1 here and I want to take away 3, I can't do that. If I have one apple, I can't take three apples away from one apple. That is impossible. And so I have one minus three, which is impossible. When you know you have one minus, you can't put a two. One minus three is not two. Now, three minus one is two, but one minus three is not a thing, right? So you cannot just take the shortcut route and put a two because that's going to be incorrect. So, <clears throat> that is why you have to rename these things. So I have renamed this to four and one, which is the same as five, and one eighth, which is the same. Then I put these two fractions together, nine eighths, four and nine eighths. So, four minus three is one, and nine minus three is six. That gives me one and six eighths, okay? That is the second strategy, renaming just the first fraction. Now, the third strategy. The third strategy is to rename both of them. So let's take 3 and 4 twelfths minus 1 and 6 twelfths. Again, this is right in your workbook on page number 430. 3 and 4 twelfths minus 1 and 6 twelfths. Now, I'm going to turn this whole number into a big old mixed fraction. And I'm going to do that this way. 1, 2, 3, not forgetting the 4 I had originally, 4. This is what I'm going to do to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. So I have 12 twelfths, which I know equals 1. No matter how many pieces I cut the pie into, no matter how many sections I split the bar into, no matter how many different divisions are in the number line, if I have all of them, I've got one whole thing. So 8 eighths is 1, 12 twelfths is 1, 6 sixths, why do I always choose 6, is 1. All those things equal 1. So if I count up all the pieces of this pie, I have 12, 24, 36, plus 4, that's going to give me 40. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one here. I'm going to have 12 twelfths because I know that this is, if I cut this one into the amount of pieces I need, that it would be 12, that's 12 twelfths, plus 6 twelfths, that's going to give me 18 twelfths. All I'm doing is renaming these fractions in such a way that they can actually be usable, okay? These are no good to me. This doesn't work. This doesn't, it doesn't make anything possible. I have to rename these things. So now I'm going to take 40 twelfths. Uh-oh. Be helpful if you could see that, wouldn't it? Let me try that again. Now I'm going to take 40 twelfths. There we go. Minus 18 twelfths. And when I do that, 40 minus 18. That is something I can do. Now it doesn't make me super happy because I have to borrow, but obviously that gives me 22 twelfths. These are the three strategies that the Go Math Workbook um, Lesson 7.8 gives you in order to subtract mixed numbers where it's really not possible, where you have a fraction that you can't subtract and you have to rename. These are the three strategies you can choose from. You can draw a model, you can rename, just rename the big one, or you can rename both into improper fractions. This is our strategy. This is, um, you get to choose. You choose which one you want to do. When you move on to um, page 431, um, you should do the work on these pages. You should do the work out so that your teacher can see what your brain is thinking and what strategy you've chosen. So if you have more questions or more um, more math, fourth grade math needs, check out my YouTube channel for more information and have fun doing math, people. Enjoy your math life. Math is awesome.